Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. With humble heart, together we say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy and us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the midst of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We have been reassured about you, brothers and sisters, in our every distress and affliction through your faith. For we now live if you stand firm in the Lord. What thanksgiving then can we render to God for you? For all the joy we feel on your account before our God. Night and day we pray beyond measure to see you in person and to remedy the deficiencies of your faith. Now, may God himself, our Father and our Lord Jesus, direct our way to you and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all. Just as we have for you so as to strengthen your hearts 
to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father. At the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or, a, or as a watch of the night. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart return O Lord how long have pity on your servants fill us with your love O Lord and we will sing for joy fill us at daybreak with your kindness that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days and may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours Prosper the work of our hands. Fill Prosper us. the work of our hands. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of the night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed away and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper season. Blessed is the ser that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if the wicked servant says to himself, my master is long delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards. The servant's master will come on an unexpected day and an, an unknown hour and he will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be a wailing and grinding of teeth. Mother, brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, mother, brothers and sisters in Christ. We believe, mother, brothers and sisters, through our spiritual endeavors or efforts, we gain spiritual grace. This spiritual grace is our strength. 
that we can live following God's will. In effect, mother, brothers, and sisters, we are assured of our spiritual status, molding our, ourselves with spiritual growth, we can easily understand why we are here. In our gospel today, Jesus is telling us, stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. What does it mean to us, mother, brothers, and sisters? It means to always be ready for whatever that may come into our life. God has given us this temporary life and eventually at His appointed time, He will take it away from us. Ano po ang ibig sabihin? Hindi po natin pag-aari ang buhay natin. Anytime, anywhere, pwedeng bawiin ang buhay natin. That is why we are telling today to stay awake, not only for our material things that we needed every day, but most importantly, our spiritual needs. Because the end of our journey here, mother, brothers, and sisters, we are returning to Him. And by this, we are reminded of our death, ang ating kamatayan. And this is the reality of our life that we are afraid of. Lahat tayo natatakot dito sa kamatayan na ito. The analogy of Jesus, death is just like a thief. In the night, it comes unexpectedly. Tutunga sa atin ito. Hindi po natin alam kung kailan tayo kukunin ng ating Panginoon. But this, my dear brothers and sisters, we are reminded of our preparation. The question is, are we preparing for this certainty that will happen to us? Totoong mangyayari ito sa atin. Are we preparing for this in our daily lives that we have, that the Lord entrusted to us? What kind of preparation we have right now? Mayroon ba tayong ginagawang paghahanda sa ating buhay pagdating na tayo'y tatawagin ng ating Panginoon? Mother, brothers and sisters, are we indulged to our spiritual things or in a worldly things. Jesus wants us today a concrete action. Kailangan ni Jesus sa atin ang totoong paghahanda na ginagawa natin sa buhay araw-araw. My dear brothers and sisters, making ourselves busy, nakatuon tayo minsan sa material na bagay, to increase our material wealth, sana hindi ito ang ating kaisipan. We should prepare by making ourselves busy on how we increase our material possession. Of course, sana hindi. Ito yung ating sagot. The preparation of Jesus speaks to us is the same preparation that He required from His disciples so that when he knocks, he would be able to let him enter into our lives. It will happen only, mother, brothers, and sisters, when we are ready and being prepared. Readiness and preparedness are essential in our day-to-day -day living. It is not only for material things, but we need to attend carefully for our spiritual life. Without giving importance to spiritual readiness or for being prepared to our journey, we are reminded 
our life is meaningless. That is why in our gospel today, we are also reminded of our business. Oo, nag-aaligaga tayo. Lahat tayo na uubusan ng oras. But we are reminded to focus only on how to increase no uh, spiritual possession, not for earthly possession. Because no po, kung tayo nakatuon sa mga material na bagay, oo, sinasabi po natin, mahalaga ito sa buhay natin. Hindi po natin pwedeng ilayo at ipagkaila sa buhay natin. Kailangan din po natin ito. But my dear brothers and sisters, we are reminded on how we live on it. How our disposition on the material things that we have, it is giving us gaining holiness or spiritual growth every day. Pag dumating ang panahon o oras, tayo ay handa dahil ginamit natin ang mga bagay-bagay na ito sa tama at sa pamamaraan ng ating Panginoon. Always remember, mother, brothers and sisters, that we have an end. We have an end. All that we have is only temporary. Everything that we have is God's way of preparing ourselves for His coming. Every single gift entrusted is equivalent to holiness and worth living. So therefore, mother, brothers, and sisters, everything is so important to gain salvation. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your material possessions in even our relationship with one another. And we are truly reminded today by our Lord, stay awake spiritually. Stay awake of the use of material possession according to their purpose, not for sinning. Stay awake. God is always calling us to be with Him. Ito po yung pinapaalala sa atin sa nagising-nagising tayo sa katotohanan na tatawagin tayo ng Diyos sa nakatakdang panahon na ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos. And this is our prayer. Pag dumating ang oras na iyon, I am ready. I am prepared for that call of God to me. Sa, na, sa nawa, my dear brothers and sisters, sa pagtawag ng Diyos, lahat na mayroon tayong ngayon, ito'y ginagamit natin para tayo maging gising at tayo maging totoo sa ating pagalakbay papunta sa Kanya. Amen. Please stand. In the gospel, the Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His beloved Son. And every petition we say, Father of Jesus, we await Your love. Father of Jesus, we await Your love. That the Church may not be satisfied with what she has done, but continue to proclaim the gospel of repentance and realize the need for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus we, we await your, your love. That our communities may be fitting places for the building of God's kingdom, by our respect, love, and concern for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus we, we await your, your love. That we may always be ready for the coming of God's kingdom by remaining watchful but never fearful. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus we, we await your, your love that the sick and the dying may seek God's will 
in their trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus we, we await your love. That the faithful departed may be found ready to meet the Lord, whom they long to see face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of Jesus, Jesus, we await your love. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers we have made with sincere hearts. Help us to grow in holiness as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption, through one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks, O Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving self you give, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are, are full, full of your, of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is, he is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, Holy o Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you fought out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that I is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may God into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember that the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life and to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver but us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, my, under roof, my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ pass for everlasting life.
stand. Let us pray. Comple complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We invite everyone right after this, after this celebration, we will go down at the crypta for the blessing of Jaime Cardinal Sin as we, re we remember his 95th birth anniversary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be with you always. And with your spirit. We gather today to pray for Jaime, whose body lies here in rest. He has passed from death to life in a company with the Lord Jesus, who died and rose to new life and is purified now of his faults. We pray that God may welcome him among all the saints of heaven. Let us pray. All-powerful God, whose mercy is never withheld from those who call upon you in hope, 
Look kindly on your servant Jaime, who departed this life confessing your name. In number him among your saints forever, we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant to Jaime, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 